Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS-TFL programming. In this video, we will see about how to program concomitant medications by preferred term. So, we are summarizing the preferred term or the CMD code values in this table by presenting the overall row and also the individual preferred terms of the medications or the WHO name are being listed here. So, this example which we are seeing has two treatment groups in the study and a total column is being presented so we have seen an earlier in an earlier video uh, an AE table which shares the same layout so if, for example here we have seen L105A where treatment emergent adverse events were summarized by preferred term so the layout is exactly the same but only now this is based on concomitant medications. So what we will do now is to reuse the previously programmed uh, treatment emergence by preferred term table code and then create this concomitant medications by preferred term table. So let us go to the code and then see. So here I have as seen in the previous videos I am clearing up my output window and also the log window using the DM statement and then I am create, uh, deleting all the work library data sets using proc data sets with the option kill on the data set statement and then I am including my uh, program which has the data for this concomitant medications table which we are seeing here so let me run the code till this point and then see what are the data sets that are getting created so here if we see ADSL is there and it has 12 observations and ADCM is there and it has 103 records in it. So let us quickly examine the variables present in both ADSL and ADCM. Let's go through the ADSL data set first and then see in ADSL. So only the required variables for this table programming are given in this input data. So we have subject ID treatment 1 an and saffl so let us also examine the unique values present in trt01 an variable so we have two values treatment 1 and treatment 2 and there are six subjects in each of the treatments. So let us now examine the contents for ADCM data set. So we have U sub J D, TRT01 AN, safety flag, and CMD code. So let's now move into the programming. So what we were doing here is to in order to create the total column, so we were replicating it with fourth treatment value but here in this case we only have treatment 1 and 2 so instead of uh, manually assigning this using conditional logic what I will do is I will replace this section of code with treatment is equal to TRT01AN because the input values were 1 and 2 so I am directly assigning it to treatment variable so as we only have two treatments possible in this study so let me make this total row identified with number 3. So here the input data set is now ADCM instead of ADAE. So let's call this data set as ADCM01 and then here we just need to subset the rows which are present in SAFFL is equal to Y and here also we have the TRT01AN variable. So what we need to do is create the treatment variable using TRT01AN. So that is now accounting the subject for under total column is being handled. So as we only have two treatments, so let's call the total treatment as three. So uh, the total possible treatments including the total column will now only be one, two and three. So let's remove this four. So we are now getting the treatment, actual treatment counts, which is the number of subjects in each, uh, each treatment using proc freak and obtaining that into a data set name TRT total 01 and then renaming the count variable to TRT total 
and then merging the dummy treatment totals with actual treatment totals and assigning a value of zero if there is a treatment which is present only in dummy treatment but not in the study actual treatments and then we are creating macro variables based on the data set which is trt totals so here in this case we'll have three rows which is one two and three one two are the individual study treatments and three corresponds to total so we'll have those three macro variables created dynamically without changing anything in this code so again here for the top row the count is now based on ADCM01 we still need to count the number of subjects who took at least one medication within each treatment so we are obtaining that so this is for top row and then for preferred term level instead of AED code now we need just need to replace it with CMD code so what I will do is I can just safely replace all the occurrences of AED code with CMD code I am just using replace all here I have replaced all the occurrences of AE decode with CM decode and then there is no change in this section of the code no change in this section of the code where we were creating one row per each unique decode and overall row but we need to account for only the three possible treatments instead of the four when compared to the previous program which we used and then we are merging our dummy counts to the actual counts and then assigning a value of zero to the rows wherein which are present only in the dummy data set but not in the actual data set and then we are obtaining our treatment total into the counts data set and then calculating percentage here and then we are transposing the data set in such a way that the treatments become column so we need to make some minor change here as we only have three treatment groups so i am removing the treatment four and then so the column header was preferred who name so i am changing that for the label column so as we only have three treatments so what i'll do is i'll just remove this and i'll replace the treatment 4 with three, uh, treatment 3 so as per the layout the first treatment was corresponding to placebo and the second treatment was active so let's use the same labels and then let's try to run the entire piece of code and then see how it goes so looks like there is some error so there is one minor change that we need to incorporate it says a group order or across variable is missing across all every observation so let us see the final data set that we have so which is ad count 05 so something is not right we have zero observations in count 05 so let's go up and see where we might have gone wrong so it says PT row one does not exist okay we missed updating the data set name on the PT row count let's go back there and then update it so here we need to replace it with ADCM01 let's save this code and submit again so we now have the report generated so we had six subjects in first treatment six subjects in second treatment and total there are 12 and then based on the overall row it seems like every subject took at least one concomitant medication so we have the percentage as 100 on this top row so this is how we can make use of our adverse events by preferred term table code and then recreate our concomitant medications by preferred term table in less than 10 minutes thank you for watching keep learning